Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I said today's video, I'm assuming you're doing a how to start and grow a YouTube channel in 2023. So yeah, let's go ahead and get inside this video. So basically if you guys see me like changing spots a lot and like my clothes change or my hairstyle changes, it's because I'm gonna be filming this over the course of days because I have a lot to talk about. So before you start your channel, you want to make sure that you have the time and effort to put inside of this. If you're just going for the money or the fame, you're not going to be able to be successful and it's not going to work. Do it because you're enjoying it. Next is have some good equipment. It doesn't have to be an expensive, an expensive computer or your camera. All you need like is a phone and then something to edit on and film on obviously. But when I started in July 2020, I used my mom's phone and then I used her computer to edit on iMovie. When you start, you don't need a fancy camera or computer or editing software unless you have any of those things you can use it right when you start off if you really want to if you have an apple product i do recommend using imovie as like your first editing editing system it's free and it's really easy to use but some other ones is like the llo and capcom no, I'm on the hair. So first you want to get a niche a niche is like a theme for example my niche is lifestyle so I'm not going to tell you just to pick like one niche because I did post like gaming videos and then like PT videos and then now I'm like actually on to my niche. So find like a niche that works for you. You can try like multiple ones like you don't have to just try one and then like say oh I don't really like this and I'm still going to keep doing it. But when you do pick one make sure that they know what it is. Have a profile pic and channel banner art slash type of stuff. So this is pretty straightforward. Don't have a little like thing of your first name. Like letter of your first name because like google already gives you that and like that's not really telling me anything about you at least show your face and if you don't want to show your face show at the back of your head and then channel banner just like make it unique to you don't copy others but take inspo from others don't copy them though add a description of in like your about section so there's all these tabs there's like home whatever like videos shorts live if you have like been live before and then like there's channels and then about i'm sorry i'm not even really looking at this stuff right now but and there's about and then after that you like scroll down like that's where you see all their like about some stuff so like, you go and click like the little little pencil emoji and then after that you can type up stuff at least put your age your name and like what you're doing and when you post if you don't want to share your name or your age you don't have to but like i'm not going to subscribe if i just say hi if it just says hi i'm not going to subscribe because like that's just not i don't know anything about you like have it detailed a little bit and then have a posting schedule so like when you first start out you don't really need to worry about this just like try your best to like post frequently and like consistently and like as much times a week as you can don't just like leave them hanging if you do have a posting schedule tell them that when you get to like that chance but when you're first starting out you don't really need one just post consistently some tips that i would quick recommend is like planning out your videos and when to film, edit, and post the videos, it helps a lot. I also recommend Notion. It's a really good app when planning and stuff. But like the regular notes app just works perfectly fine if you don't want to download Notion. And a little mini tip is to film with the back camera of your phone or your iPad. But if you film with your phone or your iPad, if you're filming with your phone, if like you're filming in the back camera, it's way easier because like this is not heavy. The newer phones are probably like heavy because like they have a lot of stuff inside of them but if you're filming with your back of your ipad like that's really heavy so i don't know it yeah, but i mean like the quality is worth it so sorry if you guys hear the fan it is like a really hot day today so yeah and if you hear like some stuff going back outside beeping or whatever because like there was a gas leak and now they have to fix it but this video needs to come on it's something to edit and film on so it doesn't need to be your electronic it be, can be your mom your dad's your aunt your uncle your cousins your grandparents your siblings it does not have to be yours in editing software like i said it doesn't need to be a fancy software some of the ones i would recommend is iMovie and vlo i don't really use any other ones i tried CapCut for like full editing but it just doesn't work for me but i use it for like what is it previews Good lighting. Having good lighting is like natural lighting one. So like when filming, you will like sit in front of a window. Don't like buy a ring light. Because like, you already have natural lighting. But if you want to, if you're gonna be doing sit down videos, I would recommend it, but I'll talk about that more later. You mainly like it during like the lighting during sit down videos, but if you're doing it like raw, you it won't really matter. Because like you're gonna be filming inside of so many different places, like it's not gonna just be like a sit down video where like you have bad lighting. 
ring light and why i say this is because you have natural lighting and you have room light that works the same way my light is yellow but it still works the same way a tripod so you can like prop your stuff up on some like books or like rest it against a window or like rest it against a wall like you don't have to have a tripod just to like film a video and like you don't need it right when you start away like when you're doing vlogs you might want to invest in one but you don't need it right away you don't need to have instagram or tiktok to grow on youtube like i feel like no one talks about this but for example miles portfolio she has like over 4k right now like when i'm filming this i literally put 3k when i was writing this down and she just recently got instagram so it just really shows that you don't need instagram or tiktok or pinterest to like grow your channel but also don't sit here and like comment on other people's videos saying oh i'm a new youtuber come and subscribe to me watch my videos because that's like that's not cool it's not cute you're not gonna grow that way it's just unprofessional and it'll come back to you <laughs> it'll come back to you in like the future if people take screenshots and stuff so just don't do it i just recommend don't do that don't do sub don't do sub for sub just don't do any of that stuff Ugh. well that is it that is it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully this has helped you guys like figure out how to start and grow a youtube channel in 2023 and yeah bye have a nice day oh i'm gonna do some more if you made it to the end by the way